Hi. Hello. We've already done this intro. We're doing it again. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our natural habitat, which is my house. We are no longer at my parents' house, so we do not have loud, psychotic dogs with us. Yeah. My name is Nicholas. I'm Edmund. Yep. We're just some men who decided to wed Mm -hmm. and um, hang out for the rest of our lives. (laughs) Anyway. So, hey, guys. Hi. How are you? Tell me in the comments below. I'm reading them right now. Like that? Oh, so good. Oh my god. That's so exciting. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, for you? That's so good. For you. Okay. Right. What are we doing today, Edmund? We're going to talk about um Rugrats. I, th- I think it's rejection actually. You've been saying Oh, that I have been past. saying regrets and it's 100% you have saying... rejection. Yeah. We're talking <laughs> I regret that. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about rejection. Yeah. I was going to do this for a YouTube video for myself and then I was like I feel like this will be a better discussion than it is just me talking by myself. Mhm. So, please I'm to, they, I got to feel it. I'm sorry. I'm listening. I just got they got us doing waivers and shit. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going um, axe throwing after this, mm-hmm. so that's going to be sexual for sure. I don't know if you have to do one too. I just did it for both of us. Okay, cute. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just make you do one too. Uh, okay, go ahead. We have to go axe throwing. No, we have to. We have to go axe throwing after this because we're going on a date. Because mm-hmm. that's what people who are in love do. They go on dates together. They or, do couple things or whatever or stuff like things things so my whole thing is that like they're not questions you just made like statements yes i sure did so i don't even know how to so you're gonna formulate it as a question so i'm gonna give this to you and you're gonna figure out what we're gonna do because that's your text (laughs) these are literal questions these are not questions if it starts with the word when it's a question okay that one okay Yeah. yeah yeah the second one sure the third one what Rejection in career versus relationships are a question. I would just discuss it's such it. such a broad thing. Yeah, if it's not a question, just be like, discuss. I guess the rest of them are questions. They, besides quite, that. they are. They are literally questions. You're so dramatic. So number one. The people think that I'm the drama <laughs> in this relationship. I'm, I'm not. Like, it's you. You are the drama. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to jump into it, but I do encourage you to write these questions below. Unless, what? Shut up to write your answers below like we can discuss like as a community mm. um unless you feel like maybe i'm i don't feel comfortable doing that and it's like that's fine i guess mm-hmm. so question one question one when was the first time you remember fe- <laughs> so these are I, your qu- yeah and i also so these are your questions mind. and so maybe i forget i can't read them as you they cannot read word for word what yeah. you need to do is read the question in your mind and then work it out yeah. and then put it back out there you go i gotta go through the machine yes. first okay Repurpose when, it. thank you yeah yeah recycle if you will <laughs> reduce reuse <laughs> something like that when was the first time you remember feeling whoa my god when was the first time you remember being rejected how about that let's do that mm-hmm. instead okay <laughs> your own throat just rejected you there but it's crazy the first time i remember feeling rejection can i talk about that i don't know can you it involves my mother Okay. I mean, she's definitely not listening. Is it? I mean, maybe it's not considered rejection. It's I, more of a rejection of who I was. It's a rejection, babe. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm on the right path. Um, I remember when I was little, I really only had friends who were girls. Mm-hmm. And I remember all of my friends who were girls coming up to me being like, your mom told us like to stop hanging out with you. So you'd hang out with more boys. Oh, yeah. I remember you told me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I love my mother. And she honestly never... I was the first gay person my mother ever met, (laughs) ever knew. Oh, true. Yeah. I was the first one. And then she's only ever known one other one. Because we're from a town that's like... Well, no one lives there. Mm -hmm. Um, It's extremely small. And then she grew up in a town that like... Had less people than that. Didn't even have a stoplight until like she grew up. Mm -hmm. Like there was nothing there. So there was no like gay, none mm-hmm. of that stuff because what we knew of gay, well, we, I was a baby, but what she knew of gay of in, gay. <laughs> but of like gays yeah. were, they were ex- like in Windsor where they were extremely like, or sorry, like attacked a lot. Like they were mm-hmm. jumped, beat up, like the whole thing. Mm-hmm. I can understand her whole, like, um, I might be a little worried about this path. Mm-hmm. 
which I learned later on, like it had obviously growing up, I was like, why don't you like this side of me? But mm-hmm. to her, her whole thing was like, well, I don't know nothing about it. And what I do know about it is it doesn't end up well. Die. Yeah. It doesn't end up well mm-hmm. for you. Um, it had nothing to do with like the exception of me being gay, mm-hmm. but she would tell all my friends who were girls that they should hang out with me less so I could hang out with more boys. Now that did backfire because I definitely hung out with more boys. <laughs> so maybe shout out to mom <laughs> for being my wing woman. <laughs> plot twist. Plot twist. But Big plot twist. That was the first time that I really felt like I didn't know what gay was though. Mm-hmm. So I didn't understand that at the time. I didn't even know gay was a thing till like I went to high school. And I was like, oh, shit. Mm. But at the time, I was like, she doesn't want me to hang out with all my friends because she wants me to act more like the other guys and do things like the other guys. Mm -hmm. So that was like what was going on in my head. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, oh, I can't like be myself like that. Mm -hmm. So that I think is my first memory. That is like a forever memory. I think it's funny now. Yeah. I I now hang out with a guy every day. (laughs) Is this what you meant, mom? This is what you wanted? Because I did it. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Oh, what's like, a- like, I don't think about rejection a lot. And so I don't really like remember. I can't really think about like. But there's ones that like that don't even have to be in your face. There's like societal rejections. There's like so many different things that you might not even put yourself in a situation, but just naturally. Well, I'm black in America. So that's that. You're like, so I've, the first day that I felt rejection. So I was born. Yeah. I was just, I just existed. Is that one of them right there? Yeah, that's him. Damn, T? he got a little booty on him. Okay, oh, go my ahead. God. T, new people just moved in across the street. And I kept saying like, oh my God, Edmund, like they're young. Like they're so young. Like they're like, that's what I said when I was like, they, there's no way they're over 23. She, well, I kind of saw her through the window a little bit. She looks a like girl. a little baby. Yeah, she looks like yeah. 19. She's for sure. She just graduated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, <laughs> I mean, it's a starter home. There's like one bedroom, one bathroom, one yeah. floor. And who is this little young nigga? Yeah, some little young bucks. Anyway, <laughs> I asked this guy on a date. And he said no when I was, um, what was I? I think I was a freshman in college. And it was this dude in my photography class, one of my photography classes. And I had a crush on him all year. Thank but God I was a no. little scary, little scaredy cat. And I didn't want to say nothing to him. So on the last day of the semester, I was like, okay, it's going to be the last time I'm going to see him. No. Like, let me just was do it. Gay? Yeah. Oh, okay. I said, let me just do it. Because, like, you know, worst coming to worst, I won't like. see this nigga again. What was his Exactly vibe? how you think he looks. White and blonde. He wasn't blonde. Just for white. Sure white. Yeah. Like the guy across the street. Kind of, but he had long hair. <laughs> uh, How yours used to be when you was like... Oh, God. When you were we like, don't even look back at that. <laughs> it was like, you know, shoulder lift type shit. Yeah. It was like a dirt, not blonde, but like brown-ish type thing. What was his first name? You don't have to give a last name. I don't remember his first name. Insignificant. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> You're nothing. You're nobody. <laughs> but he said no, and I was like, all right, well, fuck you, you Oh fucking God, faggot how did that like feel? i've never had that like... happen well i've never asked anyone out i just made them ask me out yeah but how did that feel it was like oh my god my heart it was like it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be because you know you when you, you but if you're crushing on him for so long yeah but i already had in my head that he might say no so Manif- i was just like you manifested the no no it's not true yeah. it's yeah. not true you had it in your head the universe was like that so anyway, yeah, it was like ghetto. I was like, Ugh, it's so dumb. And then I had went to like a gay bar a couple of weeks after that and tried to dance with this dude. And he did for a little bit and then he left. And I was like, oh, it sucks too. So does nobody like me? And I was like, I'm going to just stop trying. Oh my God. Thank God <laughs> no one liked you. It worked out perfectly. <laughs> I just gave up. I was like, I don't even want to like do this no more. Aww. <laughs> yeah. That's really sad. So I quit. I think then again, first name was like, it was a white name, but it was one of them like, Kinky, not kinky. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> like, <laughs> you think Josh is kinky? No, not kinky. You see a Joshua uh, and you're like, mm. no, 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 no. That name gets you going? <laughs> you no. were watching Drake and Josh as a kid being like, oh. There's not the word. It's like, and white. It's white, but it's like, and oh, white. Oh, like it could be something else. No. Kinky was the word you said? Because I could, because like, when I, cause like when I, Eric? No, because when me and Alicia be talking and like something kinky, like it's like some off some weird shit, like some like not. Like off white type shit. Kinky is weird sometimes. No, like com- I mean, listen. If that's your kink, no. Let me ex- let me explain it. It's like how like hot sauce is like cool. Like it's alright. It's good. It's hot sauce. But like Indian hot sauce, that's kinky. Like yeah, that's, I, like I fuck with that. Spicy. Like that's lit. Yeah. Okay. Like it's like it's hot, but it's good. Interesting. So it's like. A k- <laughs> I'm definitely not with you on that, but live your life. No, do your thing. Whatever, whatever gets you going. <laughs> Bro. Next question. Yeah, next question, Tamika. 
how do you deal with rejection currently? So good. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Yeah, I don't same. Care. I don't care. Same. Yeah. Not even a little bit. I don't really kind of. My trajection. <laughs> It used to rock my soul. Mm-hmm. Rejection used to be the worst thing ever. Horrid, 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 horrid. And now um, I just go, okay, rejected, rejected. Re- yeah, you just re- got rejected. R E J E C T E D, rejected. Do you know what that's from? Some gay shit. She yeah, used to you're watch. not white. So Zoe 101. But um, no, that remember Zoe 101 was Britney Spears' sister, and she got pregnant. And they had to cancel the show, and then they had to do an entire episode oh. on Zoom because she was away at school. But meanwhile, she was just rocking a fucking baby bump. Oh. Yeah, I'll never forgive her for ruining the series <laughs> by, ha- by having a child. <laughs> now, fuck her. She's a problematic person. Clap if you think she's a suffer. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I do. I don't know um, shit about her. Oh, besides her being a Yeah, being a terrible sister. person to her sister. Yeah. But other yeah. than that, I don't really know. Yeah. I w- repeat, Wendy Williams, clap if you her think she's a Jamie suffer. Lynn, Lynn Spears. Why yes. the fuck was she Zoe 101? Because it was a job. So when you're an actor, you book a job and you're not yourself. What's the worst way you've responded to rejection? Bulimia. (laughs) Okay. Well, then. There you go. I needed control, obviously, as a kid and Mm -hmm. all that stuff. Still now. Um, But I felt like everything I wanted was always like not something I should have wanted for mm-hmm. like the like that's a girl's problem or like the way I wanted to look and act and whatever like my ex remember the one I was saying like I wasn't allowed to be like feminine or anything so how I dealt with it was like taking it out of my body well that's fun so fun yeah yeah it's really it's such really a good positive time. yeah mm-hmm. it's a good time mm-hmm. 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 you <laughs> I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't deal with rejection a lot. Like I don't put myself in situations to be rejected. Yeah, I don't kind of see it as rejection. It might just be something else. Like you're definitely I don't meaner feel to like, yourself, and you reject yourself more than outside sources. Like you don't care about how other people or anything treats you. You treat yourself worse. So yeah. it's not like it's how not do you like, deal with rejection from outside sources? No. When you're negative about yourself, what do you do? Most of the time, I just get mad. Then I sit in silence. Very, very rare occasions I might cry a little bit, but then I just like take a shot or eat something, and I'll be fine. I just get over it. Like whatever, it don't matter. So we did the opposite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, you stopped, and I just exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a this is a belly of rejection. Uh, this is a belly of um self medication right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Healthy. Very health and wellness here everybody but yeah no yeah Yeah, so i don't really be giving a fuck about people nobody can hurt me yeah but you have to live with you but no but no but no but nobody can touch me you have to live but nobody can touch me you can't wait to go to therapy but there's no i'm just gonna air you out in front of the therapist no human on earth that can touch me and then i'm gonna sit back and watch they can't it's impossible yeah it's impossible okay yeah Rejection and career versus relationship. Now, did you mean career and relationship, career or no, relationship, versus. or career? Like, career. what's the difference? Because I rejection in your career versus career uh, in you know, like hmm. rejection in that tongue grammar. Just keep on rejecting yeah, the that shit out of you. It's just blocking all the words from coming <laughs> out. That bitch said, "Keep, keep, 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 keep." I seem to have always picked a career that is based off of my personality and physical appearance, Mm -hmm. which for someone who copes like me, what a good idea. Mm -hmm. Um, And so rejection in my career for me personally, this actually was the reason why I wanted to do it discussion wise is Mm -hmm. because mine is personal. Like, if I'm being rejected for a career thing, Mm -hmm. it's personal. It's about me. It's not Mm -hmm. about the skills that I have. It's about what I look like, what I act like, what Mm -hmm. my personality, like, oh my God, do you think that's trauma? Like, you know, when you, when you, no, you know, when you grow up and like, like I was told not to act away or do away. (laughs) Yeah. And so then like people date people who treat, you know what I mean? Who treat them similar to how they grew up. Uh (gasps) And I picked a career that treats me how I was treated growing up. Yeah. (gasps) Oh. Full circle Trauma. woman here. Mm-hmm. I feel like if I just went to school and like learned a skill mm-hmm. and then went into it, like I would be rejected because I'm not qualified. My jobs don't have to really do with qualification. Mm-hmm. It has to do more with like 
who I am as a person. Mm-hmm. Because it actually has nothing to do with followers because there's people with a lot less followers who make more money mm-hmm. and get more opportunities. Career rejection for me is a lot harder than relationship eja- uh, rejection. <laughs> ejection. Uh, career ejaculation is harder for me. Than, That's than crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what though? It is. <laughs> and I'll let you guys know later on about that in a, in a few months. Um <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy as fuck. <laughs> no lies detected. Um, mm-hmm. Career rejection is mm-hmm. harder for me. See, it's funny because I'm the opposite. That's why I said like this would be more interesting. Yeah. Like I definitely am the opposite of that because I have no job loyalty on at you any. You don't. Everywhere. I don't care. A job about, blinks wrong and you're like, I'm already actually I'm, on Indeed looking for that. Already, I already have three interviews lined up. So <laughs> I it's always, really crazy. Guys, I would literally, I'd be like, I just want to quit this job so bad. I'm like, no, you got to wait to get another job. You're like, I actually have an interview on Monday. I'm like, wait, what? So he does that all the time. I can always, I can always find another place to work. Always at all the time. And I'm very hireable. I'm very personable. I work good. I'm I'm not a piece of shit to my coworkers and stuff like that. Like I'm a good employee to have. It's just that if you are annoying, you won't have me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Slightest inconvenience, I'm out the door. Mm-hmm. Babe. Mm-hmm. You'll give me what I want about the door. Sometimes you break down the door. Oh, I wasn't the door. I was like structural structural integrity. Sometimes but. you just run a forklift through a wall. Yeah. Well, don't piss me off. So yeah, like career stuff is not whatever, but I think it's because it's not it's not like yours where it's about a part of your personality or something like that. Like I just come in, clock in, do a job and I go home. Like it's nothing I I don't take nothing with me after that shit. I've like, always envied people. I'm grateful, obviously, for this, but like you want what you don't have all the time. So like I always have envied people who like go to work, know they're going to make an hourly rate, Mm -hmm. know that they're like, if they stay later, they get overtime, like Mm -hmm. things like that. They know that what they're doing, there is like a direct reward. It's for specific hours. Like Mm -hmm. I've always kind of envied that. And it's just like, do the job, go home. Does the way you deal with rejection mirror the way people around you growing up dealt with rejection? Ooh, that's interesting. Thank you. I came up with these, so y'all bitches think I'm stupid all the time, okay? I'm smart. Um, well, I want to be introspective. I can be. My parents are so different. Mm-hmm. And my mom's always been like, if someone says no, like that's you're just talking to the wrong human. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want things done right, do it yourself. Mm-hmm. If someone doesn't accept you, like that's their problem. Mm-hmm. Which is really interesting because I feel like that's not, that's not yeah, how like, I was like, I don't know if you feel this. Hmm. How you were told to be is not how you were taught to be. My mom always taught me like, you can't tell me shit about myself. Mm-hmm. You, if you don't, uh, if you want it done right, do it yourself. Um, be yourself, fuck everyone else, like that whole thing. But I wasn't allowed to be that in the house. That's more what I'm saying. Mm. Taught me how to live in the outside world, but not inside like my house mm-hmm. per se. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, but like my dad doesn't give a shit about anything. Like mm. he really is like, any, the world can crumble and he's like, you know what? It's all right. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, that's fine. All right. So the camera turned off. There's mm-hmm. always a problem, you know. Yeah. But starting where we left off, mm-hmm. if the video looks different, shut up. Okay. Yeah. My dad is very much like chill. My mom is very much like panic. Mm-hmm. But that's why I think I'm so split all the time. Like one minute I'll be like, fuck everyone. I'm doing everything myself, blah, blah, blah. And the other minute I'll be like, Ugh, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I do think that it mirrors both, but like just in such a aggressive shift. Like I don't have a, a good combination of both. I would like to say that mine doesn't mirror the people that I have around me because I try to actively not be the same way in all sort of like facets of my life. I'm sure a lot of the times some of that shit comes out because you can't help who you come from mm-hmm. and like what you were raised around for the majority of your lifetime so well, obviously you. some shit comes out and like it, yeah it even in ways you. that like you don't that you don't even understand yeah. yeah so like of course obviously some of that shit probably pops out in some ways or another you told me i walk like my mom last just night fighting to be so. like sometimes <laughs> you do things and it's like wow is that Edmund or <laughs> is that julia yeah so 
<laughs> there's that but i would like to think that i like actively not respond to things the way that they do because i don't think they respond very well to things because they don't have the emotional capacity to figure out the <laughs> rational ways of doing things they don't they don't like really they don't like they didn't grow up with like our generation kind of like well you think you are you think you substantially older than me so i'm gonna say my generation since I, um, you swear that you're so much older than me I, even um, it was three years um no, I think our generation, like, and I'm guilty of this, too, sometimes. Uh, we don't necessarily, like, rational, not rationalize, but, like, fully think about, like, the era that our parents came from. Yeah. And so, like, a lot of the stuff that we look at and be like, that's so fucking annoying. That's so fucking stupid. Why the fuck would you do that? They did it because they didn't know anything. They did it because they and didn't. they had to do what they had to do. And, and the culture at the time did not promote. Like, nowadays, we everybody goes oh to therapy God. everybody self-help, is mental self-help health queens. all yeah. of that like back then they ain't had that so no. you just figure it the fuck out the way that you figure it out if yeah. that mean you do coke or you don't you, have problems you, have to you figure, get drunk you or you fight people or whatever you just do it and you just keep on going yeah mm-hmm. and so like i try not to emulate that or be like that even though i do get very angry all the time mm-hmm. um but not as much as i used to last weekend or two weekends ago when you were trying to figure out that website I thought you were going to break your computer. I was going to throw the computer. You were raging on a level that was comical to me because it was over a website. (laughs) Like you literally, he was trying to sign up for some fucking website and own a domain. Well, I got this stuff now, but I couldn't link, I couldn't link the website to the domain. I was like, what? That really, because no, it pissed me off. No, fuck that. It pissed me off because no, let me tell you what pisses me off. Let me tell you what pissed me off. What pisses me off, I should say. And this goes to all you fucking websites out there. Okay. If Yeah, you. If 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 I have to do something, like take a website or a domain, put it on a website so that the when you go to the website, it goes to or the domain, you, it goes to this website, right? Yes. But I can't figure it out because it's not as simple as just copy and paste. And then I go to your fucking website and then you give me the troubleshooting list and I go through one through fucking five and the fucking shit still don't work. Then I'm going to start losing my motherfucking mind, especially when I actually figure it out. And what I did to figure it out was not on this fucking list that you gave me. (laughs) And mind you, you were working on this for more than one day. You were getting so frustrated, and I just kept being like, "My heart's racing now." I thinking know. about how I it kept being like, was. "Call <laughs> the fucking help support what support line, <laughs> like let them walk you through something." Yeah, because you're so upset, you're gonna miss things that are key and so little. Yeah, and you were like, "No," <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, "Then just fucking go in circles and be miserable. Then <laughs> do it. Spend another day raging." <laughs> Just do it then. Just be upset then since you want to be upset so bad. Just be mad then. Just be mad since that's what you want. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll be here. You go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They still owe me a fade because I figured it out in the West. Oh, yeah. You were what? He was watching this video and there was this guy (laughs) explaining something and he goes, if I ever see this man in this video who was just hired to explain something, I'm rocking his shit. Because, you know, when you don't get it, like you go to YouTube and see if other people can like who figured it out can do it. And so I was watching this guy and he didn't help me either. So I said, "Okay, I'm about to smack shit out this thing if I ever see him in real life. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still going to beat him. I think his name was Richard. Uh Oh, careful, Dickie. Um, but you I try went not off. To, yeah, I try not know, to be angry like, and like, yeah. you know, I try to be rational. And so, whenever I face rejection, I try not to respond the way that the people around me, yeah, would respond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I see. Ooh. Do you think a person's sexual identity impacts how they deal with rejection? People walk different. What do you think first? No, about no, that? you. I'm asking you <laughs> you because I have the questions so I'm asking you actually that's really crazy because yeah. you were answering the questions first throughout when the first you half were, when you were the... asking them so now that I'm asking so now that them, I'm in charge of the video so how you're dealing with rejection right now how would this how would this you know reflect the way you grew up because <laughs> we could talk about it we're we're in your month do you want to talk about how that's like affecting you? I feel like as white man, you don't get to ask me that mm-hmm. question. Okay. This month. Okay. Because. So March 1st, I'm coming for you. <laughs> so I'm going to hold on to this for 20 something more days. Yep. I'm going to hold on to it. I think that 
it does affect the way that people deal with rejection because of the intersectionality of how niggas live. Ooh. Meaning that the way a black man would handle being rejected for a job versus how a white man would be rejected for a job would be two different types of rejection because in my mind, I'm going to be like, oh, y'all don't hire niggas? That's really crazy. <laughs> well, for sure. And then the white person is like, oh, I'm not qualified? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Same stuff with like sexuality. That yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that was the question. Sexuality but was the worry, question. But don't worry. We're in your month. I let you yeah, 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 live yeah, yeah. your life. So, Do your thing. So, boom. So, okay. So, boom. Right? Okay. So, boom. I'm going to give it to you like oh, this. Uh, so, I'm going I'm to I'm kick it to you like this, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if a white cisgendered gay man what's cisgendered mean all i know is like hey sis cisgender is like the the gender you was assigned with at birth oh uh, i thought it was like sis like you're my sis like cisgender means like 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 you're my girl gender like we're you're gay like cisgender hey man you're gay i'm gonna tell you something what if you if you don't clip this no and so. put that up i'm gonna clip it and put it up <laughs> because that is hilarious. I always see people say cisgender, and I just thought it was like another gender being like. Do you see how they were like spelling you're gay. it, babe? No, I hear them say it. <laughs> they don't go like S I S gender. Because it's not an S I S. Oh, God. What is it? It's C I S. C I S? This isn't an investigation. <gasps> I'm sick of genders. All of them. Cis, bro, <laughs> all the genders. <laughs> okay well anyway go ahead continue. go on with your thoughts <laughs> gather it up collect it <laughs> okay. oh my god cisgender okay Ooh. so if a so like, so <laughs> if a white gay man we even gonna say cis okay. <laughs> if a white gay man sounds good sis. if a white gay man was to be denied a job versus or no a white gay man was to be rejected for getting into a relationship with somebody or trying to get with somebody and they got rejected that'll hit different than if like a black trans woman went to oh, go yeah. hit on somebody and get rejected the perception would be that it's not the same thing. yeah and even in like career like if uh a, a, i didn't get hired fuck you guys i'm gonna tell you right now so Ooh. there's this dance studio that i went to go work at mm -hmm. it was a studio that had a religion that did not accept gays mm -hmm. and not christianity a different one Kay. and i'm gonna keep this finger up um oh that's crazy okay every kid loved me uh -huh. like everything they had such good reviews mm -hmm. the person who was trying to get me the job there was like oh my god such a good response and you know why i didn't get the job because i was gay. gay that's literally why i didn't get it yeah and i never spoke about it I also didn't have social media at the time fuck you Ooh. i hope your whole studio burns to the ground Ooh. Ooh. so how i just dealt with rejection <laughs> <laughs> that's how yeah. that's how i dealt with it so. yeah if okay. you were rejected your whole life like people don't realize it. it's the same thing with race like if you rejected your uh, your being is rejected and who you are and something you cannot change mm -hmm. you cannot change your skin color unless your name is nikita dragon mm -hmm. um or lil kim mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah did i lie mm -mm. um but you cannot change your race you can't just be like you know what fuck it mm -hmm. i like pussy Okay. I was just what your dad would like. <laughs> yeah. Contrary to what my father would thoroughly enjoy. Guys, whenever I came up to his dad, his dad goes, Pussy's the greatest thing in the oh, world. Oh, he said, Oh, y'all like pussy. Pussy, the greatest thing in the world. I'm like, That was his response to him. That was what out. he said. I'm like, <laughs> But. <laughs> yeah so like when you get a job or you go to do something like if you've been rejected your entire life it's like the first thing you're gonna think of too like oh mm -hmm. well, is it because i'm gay not because i'm not qualified or any of those things like that's the mm -hmm. first thought yeah and then what does that necessarily like mean as far as like the the long term of it right like mm -hmm. if it's if you rejected me i'm rejecting this hair in my mouth like, if you reject me because i'm black then like there's a whole lineage of things that go along with that versus if you well, reject like me it, because I'm gay, which like is a, a whole layer, other like thing. Like a tally almost, so or like a marker. So it's like you, some, this thing, this based on who you are as a person, almost like marks you. And yeah. so every time that's like negative, it's like a scar. Mm -hmm. Like every time it's like that thing happens, you carry it for the rest of your life. Yeah. And now you're just... Yeah, you know, and I'm saying that like each scar has its like, this scar yeah. heals slower. This one yeah. infects faster, yeah. you know? Just saw weird shit like that, yeah. Do you think what you reject, like you rejecting mm -hmm. things, 
is impacted by your self-esteem, what do you feel you deserve and don't deserve? That's such a broad question. Because it doesn't mean like, do you mean rejection of like opportunities? Do you mean the rejection of other people? Do you mean the rejection of like, because if it's a certain jobs or things like that and yes obviously a self esteem self self esteem thing but i don't reject white supremacists because i'm <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like <laughs> well no but it says what you feel you deserve or don't deserve so that's yeah, what you're saying yeah you reject oh my problem supremacy. is that i rejected the rest of the sentence you just stopped i took a long time to read it i will say <laughs> i took a while i took a while i'll read it faster do you think what you reject is impacted by your self-esteem what you feel you deserve and what you don't deserve or you feel you don't deserve. yeah that's it <laughs> questions answered everyone thank you so much for hanging out with us no. because <laughs> niggas don't be feeling niggas get posture po- imposter yeah syndrome and, <laughs> and be walking in there getting in their own way and shit like that like of mm-hmm. course like people like nobody thinks they don't deserve something unless like there's a con- there's like something there's that something made that made that you way. feel that yeah like yeah. There's niggas don't just a marker. Niggas it's don't come out there, mama coochie hole. Like I don't deserve to be in a relationship when I'm 20 years yeah. old. Like <laughs> no, it's not how that work. <laughs> yeah, you've been conditioned to feel this way. Yeah, from something, from something or somebody or some experience that got you all sort of toe up, fucked up, mm-hmm. and now you don't want to get your 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 back clapped on. Like, or you don't think you deserve to get your back cl- climbed on. Everybody deserves to get their back climbed on, or to climb on a back. Yeah. yeah. PSA. Back, back clappage 2024. Three. I think we just started 2023. So, I mean, you start your campaign early if you have to. Yeah. Get guess, some you know, steam rolling. Yeah. yeah. You got a year to campaign and see if you can get a mm-hmm. collection of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can start with Big Booty okay. Bobby across the street. See. <laughs> Did you see it? It Is was Bobby big. a spicy name for you, too? Huh? A kinky name? <laughs> No, Bobby, Bobby gives you the kink. Bobby is kinky, like Bobby, because it's like it's not like Paul, Paul kinky. It's kind of like I love you. It's not purr. like <laughs> Bobby does it for you. Bobby's kinky. No, it's not kinky, it's not as kinky as in, anymore. It's not kinky as in like sexually attractive. It's just like that's what kinky cool. means. But what I'm saying is that in because it's Black History Month, so let me teach you something. So like Here Black people go. do this thing where we take like. Oh words and we add more meanings to them for like slang oh i know i was lost for the first year of hanging out with your whole family yeah i was just like what does that mean exactly what does that mean so what i'm not talking about like sexual gratification when it's kinky i just mean it's a little cool cool like it's not boring it's not like cool with a K. bobby is like it ain't kinky but it's like on the kinky spectrum like it's like on the low end it's not like tim i think everyone's name should be said cool like samuel not samuel you know what i mean samuel edmon niklas <laughs> niklas you know <laughs> like everyone should have a little spice yeah you should, you said you should say it kinky anyway we're mm-hmm. done now yeah because it's we 521 we were busy today we took photos mm-hmm. <laughs> we had a photo shoot it was a really busy day a super like hard to be me yeah <laughs> just live my life taking cute photos it is hard long. being you it uh, it honestly is like i mean let's talk about that like a podcast about how difficult it is being, to just live my life every single day just exist as a human existing being. is one of the most taxing things that i've ever done yeah what was that fucking tiktok that was like honestly you guys like when i was born it was really traumatizing like i was so young it's just like <laughs> it's just like sometimes i think that like you should have developed more no <laughs> mentally well well we're past that so like you oh. probably should have just like set aside like wanting to be a human and like have oh. autonomy and just stay with them piece of shit ass niggas that have money. Mm. You should have just been a city girl. I didn't prioritize being a person, and now at thirty, you shouldn't like, have. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I just don't know how to live my life. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. I don't know regular things. I don't know how to do things. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what I want to do. Mm-hmm. It was never an option to do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. What do you mean you guys just go do things for fun? What the fuck are you talking about? We're going axe throwing. <laughs> That's the first thing I've done. Mm-hmm. In how long? What have I, what have I, what have I, what's the last thing I did? Oh, you don't do that. You stay in the house all day and you work out. You don't it's, go it's not outside. Even that good. I don't even look that good. Like all I do is fucking work out and I don't even look that good. Like Now you see why it's so hard for me to go? 
<laughs> that's so much work i don't work for nothing you don't even yeah. like but i noticed even like on stream i was like oh my god i just like like how i put water in the brita filter why don't i just put the brita under the sink like the faucet like even when the sink's empty you could just easily put it in mm. i choose to fill up another separate container and then fill it up like i just choose to do things well that's not that's just we all have our weird things that we do i feel like i just have a lot i fold bacon when i cook it i used to do like that though because then like it'd be fold chewy. it and then you just yeah because like it's crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside yeah. anyway i actually don't want to keep editing this so we're, so done. we're gonna go <gasps> i'm edmund he's nick yeah you can follow me nicholas james msi um anywhere the links are below if you are watching on youtube if you're not um that's it mm -hmm. your msi e m m i z z i e e on instagram yeah one e on tiktok he's not a tiktoker anymore update he doesn't post so i'm really pissed about it i'm taking his phone away he's being punished goodbye everybody it's been a stellar time don't be rejected. Bad nigga. And if somebody rejects you, think about the generational trauma which you have experienced in the past and maybe try to make a change. Unless they got you fucked up, then you better rock them in their shit. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye.